Hey friends! Sabrina Carpenter is the hottest new face of music right now. She seems to have acquired a massive fan base all in the span of just several months. Even though she's been in the industry for quite some time, she hasn't really blown up since earlier this year. In Zoe Unlimited's video about Sabrina Carpenter, this is due to a revamp in her public image. You know, Sabrina Carpenter got started with Disney and she was going the predominantly singer route for a little while there and she had released a few bit of albums. Before for short and sweet, but this new hyper feminine branding of hers is why she's only now taken off and is to thank for her massive fan base today because of this rebranding. You know, before she was displaying the cookie cutter image that Disney fits all of its young starlets into. Pop rock, sickly sweet, sugary, basic girly pop songs. But as we've seen with most Disney stars that have gone on to be successful in their adult careers, they just have to grow up a little bit. Most of us are familiar with graduated Disney stars that go down the path of being edgy and overtly sexual. But Sabrina Carpenter, I think at least from my point of view, has still maintained that girly image, but in a very mature way without going too hard and they look, I'm showing my body now because I'm not with Disney. Considering how young she still is to stay true to who she is as an artist, but still show to the world that she's not Cory and Topanga's daughter's best friend. She was the best friend in Girl Meets World. Point being, I commend her for staying true to her artistry while naturally shaking off her Disney days with integrity. I know you're probably thinking, okay, you're like 30 years old. Why are you talking about Sabrina Carpenter? Aren't you too old to listen to Sabrina Carpenter? First of all, shut up. I'm still young, thanks so very much. And second of all, there's no age limit to be a fan of any singer. Well, unless it's like a Disney singer or any other type of singer that is made for kids. I think that's the exception. But I think it's pretty clear at this point that I am a newborn Sabrina Carpenter fan. From watching that Zoe Unlimited video that she talked about her rebranding from Disney star to mainstream it girl. I'm here today as a PSA from someone who is all music today on the radio sucks years old. That little Miss Sabrina Carpenter has great enough music to get the millennial stamp of approval from me. At least the short and sweet album. I've never listened to her previous music, the stuff that she made with Disney. Whenever I say Sabrina Carpenter's music in this video, I'm talking about the short and sweet album. And it actually is short and sweet. It lives up to its namesake. The tracks are like two minutes long, which doesn't change my life for better or worse, but the track has to really, really be fire if it's gonna last four to five minutes. Sabrina Carpenter is known for having a variety of styles and musical inspirations from various decades. Many of her tracks on Short and Sweet bring back uh, personally for me, a lot of nostalgia from the late 90s, early 2000s. Like that pop rock sound, the sweet time R&B tracks. And you know that she has a true passion and love for music. Being able to, to capture feelings and into words and into melodies. I think melodies say just as much as words do. That is a fan. Sometimes you find music that is just so great, even though the song doesn't make sense or the lyrics don't mean anything deep or personal, but the melody really be hidden. And if you still don't believe me, then watch this clip of Adele, please, and then maybe you'll be convinced. I found myself singing, I'm working late. I'm a singer. That song is my jam. Now, if that didn't convince you, then you're probably on the wrong video. Cause I'm going to be doing, be, Cause I'm going to be doing a tier list today. Never done one of these before, I've always wanted to. Where I'm going to be ranking all the tracks from Short and Sweet from Straight Fire to Pretty Good to Could Be Better, Can Live Without, and Just Why. Where? So from the looks of it, you can tell that Straight Fire means I la 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 love it. They're the best tracks on the album. And then Pretty Good is mostly good, but I wouldn't listen to it on repeat. And then Could Be Better is I half liked it and half didn't like it. Like something weird is going on between the lyrics and the melody. Like they're mismatched somehow. And then Can Live Without is, well, if this died, it wouldn't ruin my life. And then Just Why Is This Never Should Have Been Made. 
And while I do this tier list, I'm gonna be snacking on a little bit of espresso ice cream in honor of one of the tracks on the album, Short and Sweet. No, it's not the Sabrina Carpenter ice cream, okay? I couldn't find it in any grocery store I went to. So I just had to settle for Eddie's. And it's not like you can buy ice cream offline. Well, at least not ice cream offline without it melting in transit. Why did we get Sabrina Carpenter ice cream, Tennessee? Justice for Tennessee. Comment below Justice for Tennessee if you want Sabrina Carpenter's ice cream put in your local Tennessee grocery store. Okay, so I, I had this sitting out for about 10 minutes to let it thaw a bit. I mean, it's not melted, but... Mm. This is the first time I've eaten ice cream for dinner, at least on camera. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I always do my filming at night. And I always try to eat a snack before filming, but I just still wind up hungry mid-filming. But that ain't no problem tonight. Oh my God, I've been sitting here for 10 minutes enjoying this ice cream and I have not even gotten to ranking the first track on Short and Sweet. God damn it. I'm just gonna put it Probably gonna leave a water ring on my chair, but I don't care. <clears throat> anyway, oh my God, I wish I had pulled these from my desktop in the track order so that I could rank them in order of the track listing on short and sweet. So we're just gonna have to go out of order here. So I apologize on behalf of my perfectionistic ass to the fellow perfectionistics out there. It was one of those songs that I did not like when I listened to a sample of it on iTunes. Cause that's how I determine whether or not I think I'm gonna like new music. If I want to listen to a new album from an artist, I go onto iTunes and find their album and listen to samples of all the tracks to see which ones I think I'm going to like. And then start listening to those tracks in full. The tracks that I deem as straight fire just from the 30 second snippet that I listened to. I'll listen to those tracks all the way through. But I listened all the way through yesterday. What, what? I'm a millennial. Does it mean you have bed chemistry? Cause I see the word Kim and I think it's an abbreviation for chemistry. And people are saying that it's about her actor boyfriend. The guy from Saltburn, Barry Keegan, is that his name? Is that how you pronounce his last name? Keegan? And people were comparing this to, to me as 1998 track, So Into You, on TikTok. At first I was vehemently against that comparison. Because at first listen, I didn't think the two sounded similar at all. But I spent earlier today listening to them back to back. Yeah, I, I know, I have no life. And then I was like, okay, I think I can see where they're coming from because it has the same, they're different tempos. It's got the same background twinkling. I don't know. I don't think it's an instrument, but it's like the, do you know what I'm talking about? The I'm just spit. You know, like that magical fairy dust sound that you hear in 90s R&B songs. I don't know what it's called. Anyways, straight fire. And now we've got coincidence. Now I think that this is my favorite track off of Short and Sweet. Now just be warned, I am going to mention a lot of nostalgia in this video. There's nothing that a millennial likes more than nostalgia. But coincidence brought me back to the late 2000s, early 2010s pop rock sound. That made me feel like I was back in high school and experiencing the good parts of it. So coincidence for me is straight fire. Like, okay, I know you can't read the full song titles on here. That's not my fault. Cause this is my first time doing a tier list. So give me a freaking break. So now we got Don't Smile. Now the only thing that I really liked about Don't Smile, I low key agree with it. Cause you know, there's that saying don't, what is it? What is that saying? Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I have always hated that quote. It's toxic positivity. I'm not drunk, by the way. This is just my personality. But anyway, don't smile is I can live without and then dumb and poetic um dumb and poetic now she wrote this about my 
X. Now let me just explain to you. There is nothing wrong with being artistic and poetic in general, but when you try to make it your whole personality, that's when we're gonna have problems. That's when I'm putting on my house shoes and running out the door. Okay, so dumb and poetic is, I, I can live without. Okay, now, now the famous espresso, the track that inspired tonight's dinner of espresso, espresso ice cream. Now, I know that this is the most popular track off of, I was about to say sick and sweet. Am I getting sick? I don't feel sick just yet, but I know I'm going to be sick later tonight, but that's my fault but it's gonna be so worth it. Now, I know it's the most popular and most likely beloved track off Short and Sweet, but I just feel like I need at least one song for each category. I'm kind of torn between Can Live Without and Could Be Better. Um, Honestly, I'm gonna say I can live without. I can't live without espresso though. Not espresso in general. I need that. That is my life force. I need it in an IV. Okay, good graces. Now most, if not all of Sabrina Carpenter's tracks on Short and Sweet have a previous decade feeling to them. I would have said nostalgic, but I've used that word at least 20 billion times in this video and I don't want to use it again. But good graces is the most current sounding track off of Short and Sweet and it's catchy. So I'm going to say it was pretty good. Good graces is pretty good. And I'll say in your good graces, Sabrina Carpenter. Don't worry. You have my fan vote. I don't know what I'm voting for. I don't know what I'm voting Sabrina Carpenter for. If I could vote her in anything right now, I would. And now we've got Don't Lie to Girls. And I agree you shouldn't lie to girls. And it's got a good message. Hmm. I'm gonna say I can live without. I can live without it. Okay, now please, 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 another one of the most popular songs off of Short and Sweet. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I still really like it, so I'm gonna go with Pretty Good. Okay, so next we've got Sharpest Tool. I gotta be honest, I don't remember that much about Sharpest Tool, so I'm just gonna say Just Why. Because why would you make an unmemorable track for me, Sabrina Carpenter? I want to make a memory out of all of your songs. And Slim Pickens, oh my god. This song kind of, it it was given Dolly Parton, but the only thing I really liked about Slim Pickens, I mean, it was too country for me. Even though I didn't really like Slim Pickens that much, I did get a good laugh out of that. I'm just gonna sit here moaning and bitching. So I'm just gonna say, can't live without. Like, which ones did we not do? <laughs> Okay, so next we have Taste, which is the song for the music video that she did with Jenna Ortega recently. And that is a really good one. Kind of had that late 90s kind of pop rock sound to it. One of the earliest sounds of my life that I remember. That one was straight fire. And then Juno, I heard somebody say it sounded like something from Mamma Mia, and I totally agree with that. But I feel like there could have been more to Juno. I wasn't fully won over by it, so I'm just gonna say it could have been better. Whoops, okay. That was my ranking for all the tracks on Sabrina Carpenter's Short and Sweet album. And you better like it. And they are the right opinions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cause I'm gonna be doing some fun things when I hit a couple milestones on this channel. So help me reach my goals and find wherever it says subscribe on your screen and take your little finger or your little mouse and then just go to notify you every goddamn Friday I upload. I'm gonna go finish my ice cream now. Bitch.